my name is Dennis Matthews. I am owner of Revelation Interactive, aka RI Studios, and I am a programmer by trade. I am the host of the Houston IGGA chapter. I also run the Houston Unity Group, and I am an a co-founder of Black Sand Gaming. Talk about a time you had to overcome a major obstacle. Obstacles happen all the time. There's a lot of things that you're always thrown. The biggest obstacle, of course, in our industry is time. Uh, there's never enough time to make things perfect, enough time to get things exactly what you want. But outside of that obvious obstacle of time, the largest obstacle I probably run into starting out was just proper communication. It's amazing how well good communication can make things run smoothly. What interests you about your profession? My profession is one of the easier ones to say what's interesting. Uh, as a game developer, you've got the glamour and the flash of you know the instant gratification of what you're making. You get to physically see and play and test. There's, there's a sense of community within our industry. Uh, that you get and being able to go out to the local meetups and go on the forums and communicate both with your peers and with your fans in a way that most people don't usually get to communicate. How and why did you become a programmer? So originally coming out of high school I wanted to be an engineer, specifically an aerospace engineer at the time and I went to school for it. I was having a lot of fun with all my engineering classes but still, like most college kids, the things that I was doing was a lot of play. So there was a lot of video game playing. And as I was doing it, I asked myself, do I want to be an engineer or do I want to make games? And I had to come to that hard choice. And I decided that I wanted to make games more than I wanted to be an engineer. What is the most important thing on your daily to-do list? Honestly, just making sure I make time for the family. This industry is relentless on hitting deadlines, getting things done, and there's always something to do. So my most important thing is making sure that I have time for family afterwards. Who is your family? I've got a wife and two kids, wife Nahoko, uh, two sons, a two-year-old James, and a four-year-old Issa. They are my little wild bunch and they have endless energy that constantly inspire me to, to keep moving and to keep and to just to do more. Why are you involved in the healthcare game showdown? Healthcare gaming is something that kind of has multiple buckets getting checked for me. So uh, of course I'm getting to make games or use my gaming techniques. Uh, but I also get to kind of do that next passion, which is helping others. And it gives me a chance to take what I do directly and also infuse that with a chance to help people directly versus just to entertain them. Why are you involved in Time Studio? As a Relation Interactive, we're constantly, you know, trying to be progressive and innovative. And when I was approached about getting involved with Time, it felt like a really natural fit because they are also innovating in ways that most aren't in both healthcare and game development and just inclusion and getting a more diverse workforce within the industry. And those are all things that I'm really passionate about. What games have you been working on? I do a lot of AR and VR integration stuff and that is a bulk load of what I do here in Houston. So a lot of times I do a lot of training apps in VR or AR to kind of help people learn how to do things. From a gameplay perspective, uh, we're a studio that says, well, we have our own internal IP, some of which you'll, you can see in the background. So we've got puzzlers that we're working on, we've got a couple action adventure games, and we have a VR title that we're hoping to be announcing really soon. In your career journey, what has surprised you the most? Initially, it was how innovation spreads quickly within the industry. They adapt really fast. So one of the first things I have to learn was that you're always learning. Learning never ends. And the second half of that, I learned that networking was super important. What is your life's goal? <laughs> if you would have asked me 10 years ago, I would have said to be a billionaire. As I got older, I got a family, you know, the goal is still high just trying to make sure that i can inspire my kids to achieve as much as they can how do you define success i more define success by how i am engaged with others and how others engage with me what's your best advice for handling conflict i try not to be in too much conflict honestly mm -hmm. 
I feel just remaining calm, focusing on what can be done. What is your moral guideline? To me it feels kind of cheesy, but I like to pay it forward. That's why I host the Houston UG Meetup and the IGDA Houston Chapter stuff is because I want to help others. So what's your favorite video game? and how has it impacted your life? So, favorite video games is an evolving question. <laughs> so my last favorite video game, honestly, was Command and Conquer. For some reason, I still enjoy playing those good old school RTS games.